We go. We Hello, go. good evening. We are live, everybody. How are you all? How is everyone? Good, good. How are you? Good, good thank, thank you. you. Not bad at all. Right, so on tonight's show, we'll do a quick introduction. So I'm Andy. I am the welfare officer at Mates FC. Uh, I'm also one of the coaches at Mates FC and Football Fitness. And next to me, we have our captain. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm Danny Warner. I'm a Mates ambassador on the Mates group on Facebook, and I'm also captain of Mates FC. Who should go next, Andy? Done. You can go next, Piers. <laughs> right. um, I'm Piers. I'm the coach for Mates FC Football Club. Um, I am founder member of the Football Fitness Club and I am a fitness coach at Football Fitness Club on a Thursday at Chelmer Park where we have lots of fun. Come and join us. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Perfect. And Mr Green, last but no means least. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Simon Green. I'm one of the ambassadors for Mates. And <laughs> Full government name. For coach for Mates FC. Good evening. What was your middle name? <laughs> Matthew. Matthew. National insurance number. Can't tell you that. <laughs> Short code. Right. Okay. So coming up on tonight's show, um, <laughs> he's noticed it already. Oh, <laughs> the messages have already started to come in. Uh, so um, we're going to have uh, mates versus turning corners that we played on Saturday. So we'll have a quick uh, game review um, on how well we played and uh, how well the other team played. Um, and we'll do a little bit of the coverage from that game. Um, then we want to get your thoughts up here on um, the Super League. What are your thoughts on the Super League? Breaking news tonight, we've already had Chelsea and Man City back out of the Super League. Um, and uh, do you think that money and these sort of things are ruining football as well as VAR? Because I think you can't celebrate goals anymore until you've heard about uh, VAR. Then we'll do Pierce's goal, so the best, best best goals from the week. If you want to start posting some up now, and then we'll uh, go through them. And then uh, the upcoming match that we've got this week. Um, and then uh, and then obviously we'll just close the uh, session and uh, go from there. We've got some messages coming um, from Joey, evening gents, and Cy Bailey, evening gents as well. So evening, guys. Evening, chaps. Matt Smith, Matt Smith also come on and said, Evening, Jen. So, evening, <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, wait one second. Matt Smith has not just come on and said evening, Jen, though, has he? Has he? Uh, the band has started. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got? He's put waving hands and he's put old oh, Andy. Right. Can I just <laughs> say, oh, well. South End, for anyone who doesn't know, South End are playing our fiercest rivals today. Uh, Colchester United and we are losing 2-0 as we speak Ouch. and they're about to get relegated but it's half time Phil Brown's got him in the changing room if he's let him in the changing room he no, might have half. him sat on the centre circle <laughs> it's nine minutes into the second half nine minutes in and we're going to go 3-2 three, three, so, three, up okay Cole you've just had a yellow card so you never know here we go sending off <clears throat> of eight of their players we could win this Right, OK. Um, so what is Mates FC? Uh, we go through it every week. Um, but uh, just to give you a bit of a, a recap, Mates FC is, is a, a football club with no commitment. It's about getting you back out on the pitch and playing football, whether that be that you've um, not been able to play through injury or not being able to um, commit um, to playing every week, or even if it's just that you've been struggling. Um, Mates FC is there for you and uh, you can come along to uh, to our training session on a Thursday evening, 9 till 10. And then we have matches most um, Saturdays. So it's there. Like I say, there's no commitment. It's a really, really good bunch of lads and everyone's really welcoming. And, uh, and yeah, so if you feel like uh, just turning up, come over, see what we're about. And then hopefully the following week or even that week, you can uh, you can come and play. So that's that's what mates is all about. So moving on to our first uh, first bit, which brings me on nicely, is our match against Turning Corners. So we played Turning Corners this Saturday. Uh, they were a really, really good, a good bunch of lads. They travelled down from Thurrock 
it was their first uh, competitive nine, uh, a competitive eleven aside um, that they've they've done. They've been playing together and they've just built and built and built, turning corners of guys that have struggled with addiction and uh, and anxiety. And uh, the guys have got together, and like I say, it's just gone from strength to strength. Where they're now at a point where they can do eleven aside, um, and it was like I say, their first game, and we gave them a game, and um, you know, I think well, I, I thought it was really good. It was played in exactly the right spirit. Um, they're, they're, the guy who organised it actually sent us an email this week, and he just said how much the boys enjoyed it. He got really good feedback from his guys, and. Uh, he said, even though, like the uh, the score, um, didn't didn't uh, you know wasn't great. They said they enjoyed every minute of it. He said, it's the first game that he's he's really enjoyed, even though they re- they lost. Um, and he just said, what a great bunch of guys that we've got. Um, and I would I would echo that back at them. I think they were a great bunch of guys and played in exactly the spirit that it was it was meant and. Even though we did go a few goals up, it was just that we've been playing together um, a lot longer than they have, and uh, I think that was really the only difference. Um, they still gave us a competitive game. They still, you know, kept going right until the end and got a couple of goals. So um, I think they were a really good bunch of lads, and we will definitely put that fixture in again, and we'll play them again very shortly, I'm sure. Um, and some of the boys played in the match. How did you find it, Danny? Uh, yeah, I um, I really enjoyed it. Um, like you said, they were a really sort of nice bunch of lads. They were competitive enough. It wasn't like it wasn't a walk in the park. I know we we scored quite a few goals, but um, they actually scored two of the best goals of the game, didn't they? But, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they were they were competitive enough. I think their heads nearly went at one point in the first half, but they then they rallied round, started again in the second half, and yeah, gave. Decent game. It was, it was quite warm as well, wasn't it? We played, saying that, we played some really good football. Um, and I think we are starting to gel Thank really well. Even, even though we've got even though we've got different um, players most weeks, we're starting to really gel. And that's the second game in a row where we've played really well and played some really good football. So, I, what do you think? Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think you just said, Dan. I think it was good. I think it just sees the improvement. I think certain individuals that have played from the kind of the beginning, it's good to see that where they was sort of a few months ago to to where they to where they are now. I think the improvement is massive. Certainly on three or four of the of our players, I thought they, I thought they've really really improved. And like you say, the game, the passing, and all that. I thought it was really we scored some great goals as well. I thought, um, but again, yeah, the other team, I thought that was really really good, really really nice bunch of lads. And um, yeah, like like you said, Dan, I'd say there was there was a few tackles flying in and around here and there, but that's all part of the. Uh, all part of the game and I think there was every it was all in good it was all in good jest I think if anyone was there was a potential issue with a tackle or whatever I think there was you might find on a Sunday that it would could have ended up being a bit a bit of a bit of aggro but I think it was it was just helping each other up and although no it was good I thought that was a really 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 good bunch of lads but like I say a bit of a positive from from the mate's point of view I really see the team improving massively. Oh so yeah, what you said I- Sorry, Sorry, I was just going to say what so I said about them, the tackles and everything. I think, bearing in mind there wasn't a proper ref either. We had Kingy ref in it who did really well as well. Um, they could easily have lost their heads a little bit, especially yeah. when we started getting a few goals in quick success, succession. Um, but they didn't. And then it was their first game and they didn't really argue amongst themselves either, did they? they it was, yeah. Nah. It, was, it was a really good day. That's good. We had a, uh, we've had a comment come in from Matt Smith and he said the look on their faces when they scored was great. They didn't, they didn't care how many we had. They just loved it. And they did. They just took their moment. When they scored, it was like they'd scored sort of the winning goal. It was like, yeah, it, was. it was really good. Like, uh, to Danny's point, there was a little bit where they could have lost it and they just turned it round. And uh, it was really good to, uh, to see them, you know, just keep going to the end. And I'm sure... You know, they had some really, really good players, like individual players. The bit that they were just lacking was just, you could tell they hadn't played together as a team on an 11 aside. And yeah. and it's exactly the same as we were. We, we've we got some great individual players, but play, that playing as a team, you can only get through the experience of, of playing as a team. And 
That's Sorry, what I, like I missed, I missed a bit of that, lad, so I don't really know what you guys already covered. But if I could just add the one thing that I thought, <clears throat> as well as the, the time they've played together, I think the fitness of the, the Mates FC team showed, definitely. So I think, and again, that's not just talking about what I do. I think anyone who's looking to come and play the game, I think it's a really, really good idea to try and do some training alongside. Um, sorry, one second. So, you know, when you're live on a podcast, you can't stop to talk to you. That's my daughter, by the way, just literally saying she's going. So she wouldn't go with her saying that. Sorry. But, yeah, the point I was trying to make was, yeah, I think it's just a great idea for, for, for you to come and do some sort of fitness, whether it's on your own, because you're going to be able to enjoy the game more. Yeah, otherwise, you're going to end up getting injuries. You're not going to be able to enjoy yourself. So that's just one thing I thought, looking at the opposition compared to the mates FC guys, that's one thing that was telling for me. One point there with, with that piece is, yeah, you're right. They didn't. They weren't match fit, were they? But um, but uh, we don't want to put anyone off who's thinking of coming over to mates as well because we weren't, we're not like that huge specimens and we're all going out there and uh, running around headless, like headless chickens for 90 minutes. There are people in the team, within the team that, I mean, myself included, carrying injuries. There's a few carrying injuries. Some people last 10 minutes and have to go off. So yeah. there is that. But, but we, like you say, we are improving fitness-wise. You can see that from the match. 100%. But yeah, I think, oh, yeah. You're, I think you're right, Dan. I think, I think it's, the point I was making wasn't to stop someone mm. coming for the first time. I think yeah, the no, first yeah. time you come each week, you're going to gain that fitness, which is yeah. going to help your self-confidence, which is going to help your mental and your physical health. So it's just a sort of part of the package. Bye. Yeah, I think um, I think like um, one of the sort of standouts for me and the bit that sort of makes it worthwhile is um, there was some great there was some great individual bits on on you know especially in the first half like Billy um, you know who's who's come to us and not really played eleven aside before and he's been coming week in week out he's been coming to training and to, to Pierce's point you know he's got match fit now. And you can really see it. Like he was unbelievable in the first half. Like he, he was moving the ball around, not doing anything over, you know, he wasn't trying to skill everyone. He was just doing good, simple football. Yeah. Like I, I, he was just getting hold of the ball and he was just passing the ball out. I think the whole team was doing that. And, you know, again, yeah. that's another thing that I, I, as you've probably alluded to, and apologies, I've missed a bit, but I think you looked comfortable as a team. Yeah. Like even with some of the guys who'd only played one or two matches, the tempo and, the conductor in the middle, Mr. Green, was just setting the tempo and everyone bought into it and just, just carried on knocking the ball about, which I thought was excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we did look a little bit sharper when he came off, but yeah. <laughs> I think it was the, the boots he was wearing, wasn't it? He, uh, I suppose, Dan, very nice and comfortable <laughs> then, mate. He, uh, no, to around, be man. fair, and, and uh, you know, there was some, some great, there was some great bits of play, like Ollie up front, you know, just holding the ball up and his power and stuff like that was great. You know, like you said, Sai was, you know, Cy, whenever Sai comes on, he just brings that calm, as he calmed the game down and, and everyone just stuck to their jobs and stuck to their tasks. And people are starting to understand where everyone is on the pitch and what people are going to do. And that's just a time thing. You can't, you can't train for that. You can't do anything. That's just playing week in, week out. You know what people are going to do and, and the way they're going to, you know if somebody's going to take the ball on or they're going to stop and cut inside because of their style of play, you'll start to learn that and you'll be waiting for that. You know you know who's going to make darting runs and then you're going to know who's just going to be that playmaker in the middle and who's just going to, if I give the ball to them, they're not going to give it away cheaply. And, yeah, tr trust. It's all about and teamwork yeah, and trust. And, uh, you could really see that. You know, Liam did some great stuff. I thought he was great as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah. I thought Dean. Dean, both Deans for me. Yeah, stood, yeah, stood out. Yeah, we yeah. mentioned that on the side, didn't we? Dean um, G, is it Dean G or did, oh, I keep getting Dean, yeah, Dean G. G. Yeah, Dean. It was Dean G. I think. Um, yeah. The last two games has really, you just notice how he stands not stands out, but he he's more prominent in the game. He's got some decent. Yeah, he did skills some lovely skill in front of the ball. ball. He was unlucky. Yeah, he did. Is that and Dean like, on the right hand side? No, that... uh, no, it's Dean. Where's glasses front, when he's not glasses. playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, he's got he's got checkers. Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah, everyone did. He, he did, I think. Yeah, yeah, he did score. Yeah, yeah, and he scored in he, the other but, game. But again, he he he's like been coming across, and he's um, you know, he's been maybe not as fit as he would have liked, and and he's carried an injury, and then this was probably the first week 
you know, he was he was fit, he wasn't carrying any injury and, and he was superb. He was, you know, like a different player. It was really, really good. So um you say yeah, no, that. I, I, I think that was. A, I think that's a that's a, a benchmark and a step. I think the team's taken a turn last week. Yeah, I, I agree. We looked in control from the the minute we kicked off, you know, and and uh, like you said, I think it was a real sort of turning point. We got Matt Dyer. Hi, Matt. He's put evening all. Hello, Matt. Hi, Matt. Um, so yeah, no, other? really, really good game. But I think you know, like I say, we'll we'll definitely put that fixture in again. Um, they're a great bunch of lads, and uh, and uh, yeah, we'll definitely definitely play them. And it was nice. It was nice they took the time out to send an email um, along the lines of what a great great bunch of lads we are. And like I say, I mirror that back to them. They were uh, they were great and played it great. exactly the way it should have been played. To be honest. I was having a bit of banter with a guy in the centre mid and um, that friendly banter. And he was saying that when I said, like, we'll be playing you again, I think we're good at it as a regular fixture. And he was going, oh, yeah, by the fifth time we play you, we'll beat you. And uh, I, I, like, I, don't think, I don't think they will, but uh, we were having like a joke about it. And I was, I was saying, um, you probably will. Like, you have more chance in five games because you'll get, you'll get used to what we're about. And then the fitness is going to improve as well. So I think, yeah, the games will get well, the games will improve as well for people. Oh, definitely, they had, they had, they had well. three or four good good players, I would yeah. say. Yeah. And if 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 they can get the teamwork and try and get the ball to them, I think they're going to do a lot a lot more uh, damage than they did on Saturday. Yeah, I think also I think the main thing from it all is they're trying to get the same thing out of it as we are, and it's mm-hmm. just about getting guys back out there. <laughs> You know, you know, there's there's that whole team bit, and you know, if people want to talk, they can do, and they've got a bit more of a support, and it's getting people out of the house, and you know, and not for that for that time that they're on the pitch, that's what they're thinking about, and it's it's definitely helping them to get out, and the same as us, it's about getting people out on the pitch again, and getting people out talking with each other, and getting guys talking. That's that's the biggest thing from all of this. Um, who's it? Who's it? With- who have we got this week? Uh, this week we are playing. I'll find out and I will let you know. I'll quickly have a look. It's, um, it's, um... It'd be interesting to see what sort of how how decent they are. Because um, there's there's a diff- you get different levels, don't oh, you? We've noticed that already. Charitable, charitable FC. Charitable FC. Okay, yeah, because yes. you get we've had some really tough games, haven't we? Really, really tough games. Yeah, and then we've had some games that have been a, a little bit sort of. Not easy, yeah, easy, I suppose. But it'd be interesting to see if you yeah. can take that performance to a, a team with uh, a little bit more organisation. Yeah. That Billericay team, <laughs> we yeah. owed him yeah. one bad, don't yeah, we? We already got on with them. We wow. need to take our A team over there and see what we can do. Mm. Um, right, okay, so moving on from that, we're going to start talking about the Super League. Like sure. I say, Chelsea have dropped out tonight. I think Je- Chelsea's game against Brighton is actually. Um, been uh, been postponed by 15 minutes, no, I think. It's, it's started. It's um, it has started. Sorry, hold on. Why, why was minutes. it? Why was it delayed? I think it was due to uh, protests outside the ground about oh. Super League. Okay. Right, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to jump in with the Super League, and I'm going to say something that people are probably not going to expect or like. Oh, like I, I can't. I can't see how everyone's going so mad about it. But wait, hear me out. Right. You can't have a league where there's no relegation. However, does anyone remember when the Premier League started? Right? They just yeah. left the Football League in the same way. Everyone yeah. was having the same up in arms, going absolutely crazy about what was going on. Football's over. Right? Football at the moment is stale. Right? That's how I feel about it. I don't know how you feel about it. I don't like what they did or how they did it, but it needs a new genesis. There needs to be a better idea than what we currently got in the domestic and the European Cups. That's my starter for it. Off you go. Right. Well, I think, I definitely think there is definitely a place for leagues with no relegation. And I think it should start this year in <laughs> League Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I right, can cheer now. you up. I can cheer you up, Andy. Or in losing. <laughs> oh, are they? That's a shame. All right, Andy, stick to the topic. Give me say, right. give me your honest opinion, because I'm really interested to hear what people say. Because I, on Saturday, 
I laughed my socks off at Gary Neville on his soapbox. And then I heard a lot of people talking and talking and talking. I guarantee you a lot of them people are going to be turning around in a couple of weeks' time talking about a different subject and backing it. This is just I a think, start for 10. I think I, he was absolutely I'm kind of right with... what he said, what Gary Neville said. I think he was absolutely But right. I don't think he had all the facts, right? That's why I was laughing at him. I don't think he had all the facts and he went off on one half cocked. No, I, think... I, 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 I don't know, mate. I, I'm in a different agreement. No, that's fair enough. We, we, you've got your chance and then we've, this is what we're here. Well, I don't, I think... I don't, to be honest, mate, I, I, I don't think it's a... I, I think, why change? I do get where you're getting coming from. Football is all a little bit stout at the moment and all that, but I think it's a bad time to do it, to come out of the back of a pandemic when six clubs are going, oh, look, I'm going to get 400 million just for entering. Yeah, agreed. agreed. The greed agreed is, agreed is not right. I agree with you. Yeah, so I, I think maybe just continue to, to carry on what we're doing and maybe analyse it in a couple of years' time. Not now, when it's just... And I, 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 so I didn't realise how much the the lower teams get subsidised by the Premiership teams, and I think if them top six moving away oh. has a massive, massive knock on effect to all the the teams in the lower leagues. Yeah, but, you, yeah, but you're sorry, just one point on that, and I agree with you. But again, if if those six clubs, not saying just those six, but if clubs at the top of the echelon get more money, there's more money filtering down. Remember that. Yeah, but, yeah, but they'll be it's, broken it's away. That, it's the weakening of the sides on a they're Saturday. Not, they're not broken away. They're away, still, they're still what what they had in their proposal. They were still looking to play in all the FA competitions, like the Premier League. Therefore, in my opinion, the FA should be at least saying you still have to filter your money down. They still want to play. They still want to play in the FA Cup. I think the only thing they didn't want to play in was the UA for Champions League. So how would that? I didn't know that. How are they gonna? When they wanted they to play, play midweek. They wanted to play Prem. Whatever, but they wanted one. They wanted a midweek game with the super slot, so they would still play Arsenal, West Ham, Palace, all those boys at the weekend. They wanted a window so they could play that that closed twenty or well, what was it? Because it's twelve it's at the moment, ten. isn't it? Two teams, two leagues of ten, wasn't it? Was it? Is that what it was? Yeah, two leagues of ten, and then you get like a semi final or whatever. You yeah. Get. So what, Dan? What they wanted again? Whether I've got it right or wrong. The only th- competition they were going to pull out of was the Champions League. So they're basically going to start their own Champions League, aren't they? That's what they're wanting. So what will happen? What will happen is they will get a different competition out of UEFA. I don't know. I just think like with the with the I know it's slightly different. It's the World muggy. Champions it's League. muggy. What yeah, they've done is muggy. It would, get, it would get boring. I think. I, I find the Champions. I don't find the Champions League boring, but I find it's only the later stages that I find interesting. Uh, maybe that's because my team aren't in it. I don't know. but No, I don't think so, Dan. I, I, my team aren't in it anymore, but the Champions League of 10 years ago is, was, far more, was far more exciting than the Champions League now, wasn't it? I mean, generally, you had week in, week out, you had good games of football. Yeah. But the Europa is the same. They've Europa's... definitely got to do something with the Premier League. They've got to make the Premier League more exciting because I think, you know... When West Ham can be that far up the table, something has gone wrong. With the I, think, I, don't, I don't know how you can say that. I think it's, it is the most exciting league in the year. Are you just winding him up? <laughs> don't take the bait, then. When you've got teams like Leeds, Leeds and West Ham, how they're, how they're playing at the moment. Yeah, no, listen, pre, the pre, again, you're right. The Premiership is the best league in the world. Someone tried to sell one of these talk phone-ins. It's boring because the same teams win it all the time. No, they don't. I don't know. No, they don't. <laughs> Man City, Liverpool, Leicester, United, Chelsea. I can't even say Arsenal because it was that long time ago. But there's lots of different teams that win the Premier League. Yeah. It would have been West Ham, wouldn't it, if this had gone ahead? That's what <laughs> yeah. I suppose it. Yeah, but it wouldn't know Dan because all the, the, the Prem wouldn't have been, would have been the same. And that's, just, that's where I think Neville was going mad. And, and he got it wrong, possibly because he didn't have all the info, Sire. But he was going on like they were going to turn their back on the Premiership, and that wasn't the case. Yeah, I don't think he. I think he thought they was yeah they was coming away, and there was only going to be fourteen teams in the Premier League. Yeah, maybe coming away from it at all. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? One positive is from the, all this is how the fans. Obviously, any other fans have kicked off anyway, but mm. the fans of the six clubs have op- like openly come out and gone absolutely mental about it. That's what I love. <laughs> Reminds me of seeing that Valley G. East the End's massive. Game. The West End's massive. All come together. Yeah, everyone's come together. It's, it's, yeah. right. I love the, the fact show, that COVID is show. now no longer. COVID's gone. COVID yeah. didn't happen. 
COVID gone. It's a new thing. The I, Super League's I, taken over. I don't, I don't really care about the Super League. I care about VAR. I think it's ruining football. Uh, I hate it. What can, VAR, what can you do I about VAR, Andy? What can you do about VAR? They just, need to, they just need to remove it and just forget that it didn't they're work. Not, they're not going to do it, mate. I just need it's to just, change it. Change the. It's like you go like that. You go like get really excited that your team have scored, and then you go, "Oh no, VAR!" Because his toe, his toe was offside. I do get it. I do. I think his VAR is an absolute. You know, if that striker on 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 um on the Arsenal game, mm. and maybe, maybe I'm a bit biased, but on the Arsenal game, if he'd have been a size uh, nine instead of ten boots, yeah, but you weren't he no Andy. Five. He weren't no Andy, and a line was drawn, and he was offside. Offside's offside. Whether you're going to do it by linesman or a VAR. Yeah, that's the thing. VAR is proving everything is right. VAR is getting every single decision correct, basically. Well, no, no. Well, VAR is the referees are still getting them wrong. This is what I've said all the time. It's the same refs making the same decisions, but with a video. And where they embarrass themselves, they even see where they've made a mistake and won't like say, "Yeah, got that one wrong, boys." Yeah, it's embarrassing. I just just like that. Like you'd have that bit of oh my god you were well offside and and it was like the talking point and it was like you got some you got some against you. I, 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 yeah I don't that. know see I I disagree Andy because that really got my go if there was an offside goal given so for, for VAR and me offside works like re re refing the game on video doesn't work what I mean by is was that a foul or was that a penalty in slow motion that doesn't work but line decisions all day long. Yeah, I still think offside. You got to have a bit of you got to have a daylight between you and the defender. VAR would still be able to do that. Sorry, VAR would either say daylight or not, and it's still the same argument. But I think yeah, it is. But I think the games will continue. The the games will float more if it's. You used to say. You used to say to kids. You used to say play play right on on the toes. Play right on that last. You can't do that anymore. No, you can't. No, you can't. You're right. You, you can't, no, you cannot so do eventually, it. Eventually, eventually, <clears throat> you're not going to get like this sort of fast paced flowing because people be so wary of having their toe off. They, that's, that's wrong, though, Andy. People, will, people adapt, off-side. people adapt and get better. That's what they do. You're not going to say no. people are going to get slower because of the offside rule. They'll get even quicker so they can make up the half a yard they had to lose. I just think like their, their hand. It can't be offside. You can't score with your hands. All right, let's get back to the Super League and you can put VAR on next week. You're so hung up with this VAR. I hate it. Right, what are people out in the... Is, is anyone watching? That's the first question I've got. Yeah. And, and if what are, are they saying about Super League? Get some comments. We've got um, Joey Hazeltine. Anyone who's back in the league is a flat earther. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take a straw poll. Is anyone back in the league? Hand up. No. no. Right, we all believe in a spherical world. Moving on. I quite like, I just quite like, I like the league, that get into top four to get into the Champions League. And, you know, like, you think West Ham fans are going to be so excited about getting in the Champions League. We're not going to make the Champions League, are we? Too many injuries. Uh, well, I think you will. So, <laughs> and I'm not even a West Ham fan. Got Chelsea. But I like to see the little clubs do well. Maybe that's what. So you got Chelsea at the weekend, sorry? Yeah. Win that, you'll get into the Champions League. Nah. I think what's left? Is there seven left? We'd seven have beat left. Newcastle. We, well, we got six. If we'd have beat Newcastle, <coughs> I might have thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got Cresswell's yeah, out. If you take Chelsea out, that's a six-pointer, Simon. Oh, it is. Yeah, but we'll get, we'll lose two or three nil to Chelsea. Play, but it, but if you do beat them, I think you've you've laid the foundation. Maybe. Is, that West, is that West Ham? You won't lose 3-0. 2-0, maybe. So, we, we, Mourinho, did he get sacked because he was opposed to the Super League? <laughs> Who's put that? He got no, sacked. I'm just asking. It's an excuse, no, I think. It's like Mourinho's just like, Mourinho parks the bus, is anti-football, a negative, egotistical, and doesn't get on spotlight, with anyone. Spotlight grabbing, and the minute Tottenham signed him, this was the outcome. So, but other than that, days. you're a fan. Yeah, love him, love him, love him, love him. But he's the best, isn't he? He's not he, privilege, he, he gets he gets results oh. everywhere he goes, doesn't he? That's what he, he tell you. He should be the manager of Portugal. He's not. He's not a club manager anymore. I don't think he loses the dressing room too quickly. Of course he does. People people have seen through him and think he's an absolute bell. Um. 
Is there an hundred million in, in um, who, stacking money? Who do you think it? will be the next Tottenham manager? Who's the next Tottenham manager? I don't know. Do you like the Klinsman? Klinsman. Sol Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Brown. Wow. Look, Klinsman. He did a cracking job at South End. <laughs> no, it'd be interesting to see. I think they're talking think... about who's the lad? Uh, is it Leipzig manager? I think that's the, uh, the guy at this uh, top of the, the odds at the moment. Would well, the I've... Tottenham fans have Poch back? Oh, Poch ain't coming back to spot. I don't think Poch would go back, would he? Yeah, of course he wouldn't. <coughs> yeah. He's, a, he's having another crack at the Champions League with quality players. Yeah. I think they're yeah. talking about Robbie Keane that they coming in for a bit. Robbie Keane. Oh, what? Really? He manages Sunday League, like as in junior football Sunday League. He manages the youth side. I don't know. Surely, they've done it all. I, I haven't employed him, mate. Don't go. Okay, back. sorry, sorry. Surely that'd be as an apprentice role under someone <laughs> else. Yeah, I think it was. It was. It was. Um, it was him and um, who else was it? I can't remember. It might have been Ledley King. Was it? Maybe I don't know. Well, Ledley King is part of the tra- He's part of the coaching staff, isn't he? Yeah, but which all got sacked. Well, sorry, all left with him. So Ledley King isn't one of them, unless he goes back. No, he's still there, Piers. He, he didn't get sacked with him. With I thought he's back. Sorry, apologies. I, I heard his backroom staff all left. So, yeah, no, um, part of his more. It was Mourinho's team of people. I think I, stand, I stand corrected, Simon. Yeah, Ed Woodward left. Um, Man United. No way. Are you joking? He no, well, well. He's, well, he's, set, he's, he's set to leave Manchester United at the end of the year. Or has he stepped down as chairman or something? Can he, or is he, ste- is he stepped down his, his post in the it UA? Just, uh, at the minute, it just says Ed, Ed Woodward to leave Manchester United at the end of the year. So where are the Arsenal in this at the moment, Andy? Are they leaving as well? Is the whole thing falling down like a house of cards or is it? The only two people that have put forward that they're leaving is, is City and Chelsea currently. They're all bottle. I can't, I can't see them. Like, this, is, this is the dividing. I, can't, I cannot see how they're all going to... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I just see what Dave's posted. Oh, I've lost the whole crew. Yeah, Matt Can't Smith has put Brendan Rogers. That's a good shout. I don't know. Did leave Leicester? No. Why would he? Look, why would he go to a smaller club? Oh, he's done it before. He left Celtic, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think he. I think he, he's, he's pretty grounded at Leicester, isn't he? He's Come a great on. manager, though. Yeah, he's a good manager. Maybe can Gerard. you see me and hear me? Yeah. Oh, he Gerard might be a good can, you're, you're not. You're not moving. You're on tour. <laughs> but luckily, you've left us with a really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> you should get on a get on a canvas. Oh, oh. Brilliant. Yeah, Dave, Dave, help me out. It's um. Yeah, I think Brendan Rodgers is a great. I think he's a great manager. I think he's doing. He's done wonders again at, at Leicester, hasn't he? You know, and uh, he's, he's done well everywhere, hasn't he? Yeah. So it, Liverpool. But that is a good shout. Gerard might be ready to leave Rangers for Tottenham. I don't reckon he's ready yet. Into Not the off. Prem. No, I reckon he's got maybe a couple Vieira. more years. To yeah, Tottenham. Vieira. You never know. Glenn Hoddle. Uh, Robbie Savage. Jimo. Are you still talking about Spurs manager? Mm. Yeah. Just getting silly. Um, so, who have you gone for? You had Rogers, Potch. Gerard. What? Who called Gerard? Andy. <laughs> it's, it's a good shout. But he's, he would never do it. No, he um, wouldn't know. Lennon. I don't know. New Lennon. Yeah, not a bad shot, but I think he's a busted flush now, isn't he? Neil Lennon. Yeah, is there a video oh, of him Neil Lennon. Absolutely battered going around the other day. I thought he said Aaron. I thought he was thinking of Aaron Lennon. So what? Who else is there? Like what? There's not many Tottenham legends left. Like you know that. Raw Fox. <laughs> Nevers. <laughs> Nevers might fancy it. Yeah, where is what's Nevers up to? Is he still playing? I think he's at, he was at Haybridge as assistant. I don't know if he still is. Julian Dix is there now. Oh, is he? I don't think he is there. I don't know. What managers have you got that are sort of out there without a club? There isn't really, is there? Most of them have been, most of them have got clubs now. Oh, the other one they were talking about, the Wolves manager, Spiro Santos. What's his name? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I think. 
I think I, that's I, one could of them. See, I could see him moving, taking pretty much the Portugal squad down. I just think he's one of them where he's doing well where they are, but as soon as they move, they just. Who's that? His managers? Yeah. Are you talking to yeah. me? Or... Yeah, I am talking to you, but you say that. Yeah, like... Poch- Pochettino left Southampton, and as yeah. much as it goals me, he turned Tottenham into a better side than he left them yeah. the other yeah. way round. Yeah, he was. He sh- I don't think he should have been sacked anyway. I think they went. No, they were going for a bad, bad spell. But Levy on a I don't, I don't, I don't think if he was still there now, they wouldn't be as bad a position as they are. No, of course, the they moment. wouldn't be. Matt Smith is sensible. Harry read that. He said that Scott Parker has done okay with limited players. Yeah, that's not a bad shot, actually. I'm oh, sorry. Big, ha- big jump, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he has Scott Parker hasn't done very well in the Premiership, though, has he? I don't know. He's not done really done away with got. so far. He's done away with what he's got, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him in my enough. club. It's not. It's Frank not Lampard. Lampard. It's not no, it's not enough. Um, they haven't had enough time. Lampard in the Premiership. Lampard. The, the, the linky no, Lampard with, with Palace, but I wouldn't have met Palace either. I can see that happening, Dan. Oh no. I can, no, I can I see, now you said that, I can see it happening. No, I hope not. I think they've got to go with somebody proven, haven't they? They have to. Who, like, Palace? About, no, Tottenham. Or, or Tottenham. 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 Scott Parker is... What was the other one? Scott Parker, who else? Gerard. They're all, none of them have... Proven. Parker's only had... Yeah, Parker hasn't finished a full season yet. Gerard hasn't had um, Premier experience. I know they've got to get it somehow, but I, I would imagine they'll start... Um, it's Sven. It's Sven. down. It's Sven, is he still alive? Sven. Do you reckon Arsene Wenger would take it? Yeah. Oh, that would be. <laughs> Have I just blown your mind there, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> Tim Sherwood might do it. Has he still been doing things? I know George Graham did it, but come on. <laughs> Not Arsene. I'll tell you. But Arteta. What? Nah. He's, he's, doing, he's doing a really good. He's doing a really okay. good job at Arsenal. David Moyes. Moyes. Oh, oh uh, Rich Bastian. Hi, Rich. He's come on, and he just put um, Ma- uh, Max Allegri is free. Okay. Okay, but that's I'm a good sure shout. Will be, uh, is it Nigglesman? Yeah, Nigglesman. 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 Who's Nigglesman? Leipzig, I believe. I think that's Leipzig. the lad I was oh, that talking about. That's the one you're talking about. I, th- I thought he was on his way to Bayern. Or was it Dortmund or something? I, th- I think they're trying to nick him from what, like, from um, Bayern Munich, I think. Here's one. What about Ralph Hassenhutl? <laughs> yes. I might even drive him there myself. I would I would say Hassenhutl would be more of a call than Scott Parker. You're going to drive all the way to Southampton and give him a <laughs> back to London? Ha- Hassenhutl? What about Hal? I think he's the a good guy. Why is Eddie Howe keep getting pulled into every conversation? Eddie Howe, that's a great shout. <laughs> it's not no, a great shout. It's not a great shout. <laughs> How is that not a great shout? I think Young England great. manager. He's another one who keeps getting linked with Palace. He's just... No, not for me. Do you not think he's any good then? What about the Cowley no. brothers? No, the Cowley brothers about? I wouldn't Cowley say he's brothers. Not, yeah, Cowley brothers, good shout. I wouldn't say he's um, no good, just I don't think Prem is his standard. And the Cowley Neil brothers... Neil Harris is club at the minute. Yeah, but none of them have got any experience. They're not going to go to Tottenham, are they? You're the Cowley no, he'll go to Palace. Oh, oh wow. Well. I'll take the Cowley brothers. He's good with an eagle. Who are we talking about? He's going on about Neil Harris. Oh, why is he good with an eagle? No idea. Does he play golf? He's in the You've got is that he? eagle, haven't you? You have to fly at the start of the no, game. No, we had this last, the other week. He d- it died. It was a female and it died. Oh. And you, it's the same reaction every week. <laughs> <laughs> had a heart attack. Oh, oh God. I'm not anyway. laughing because of the bird, but... Brighton nearly scored. What's the, score? What's the score, Si? Still nil-nil, but they've just literally just all just went over the bar. Half-time, second half? No, nah, 42 minutes in. Finished, didn't they? So, uh, I remember it's 4-2 down. Chris Chris Hutton. Chris Hutton is a great shout. Yeah, it's a safe pair of hands, I would say. Yeah. That is a great shout. Premier experience and he's ex-Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, it's a very good shout, Rich. Uh, That is a really good one. 
Right, Phil, I, I, Phil, I, Brown, Phil Brown will be available at the end of the season. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I keep dreading looking at my. F- oh, Leighton Orient have lost four two. That is exactly. a real shame. I don't. Luck, luckily, I don't know any Orient fans that I can rub that in with. Four two. <laughs> and they've got a tough game coming up. A big one, Saturday. So yeah. South End have pretty much got relegated tonight. Ian Holloway. Do they get relegated tonight, Andy, if they lose? Well, they've got a tough ask now. They've got to win every game, I think, and hope others lose. So where do they go so, down to, Andy? Uh, Barrow and Green City. Got game and hands over us, so. National The conference, Si. The one above Chelsea City. Oh, really? Yeah. My um, the might have fallen. Man United to conference. Uh, Chris Dabrowski's put a comment on no, someone to sort out the Spurs changing room. And root out the bad eggs. Gotta be Ted Hastings. Yeah, yeah but hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, who is Ted Hastings? But wait, how is the dressing room bad? Are you oh, suggesting Ted Hastings? Have... Yeah, well, I, is... I agree with Chris. Mother, mother of God. It's not, it's not always the manager. I think the players have got to take some blame, I, I believe. I say the managers get scrutinised, the managers get sacked. Spurs but... have got a dog shit, def- sorry, a poor defence. That's yeah. pretty much their problem. Yeah, but then. Is the bad eggs are the bad eggs the likes of the Dyers and and the uh, the Al- Deli Alley and all them people are they are they oh, causing God. rifts in the changing room? Poch got sacked because he lost the changing room. Mourinho's got sacked. He's lost the changing room. Mourinho oh. always gets sacked. Mourinho always gets sacked. Yeah, I but think Mourinho's I, gone I, now. Yeah, he? I, I, I do think there's an element of that, but I do think players need to take a little bit of a uh, a little t- a bit of blame, bit of a blame towards the players. I I think. They are, they are the ones that are going out there on, on the pitch and exactly. creating the results. And as a former non-league or social manager, it is sometimes frustrating when you think you've got an 11 out there that should do well and they are toilet. It is really frustrating. You know, you've got Son, he's brilliant. He doesn't, you know, he, you know, he just carries on. He can have he can have the worst tackle and he just carries on. <laughs> Same with Harry Kane. Carries on. Carries on. Harry, Harry Son. Yeah, no, I think... Um, I like, I do like um, Mourinho, but I, I just think he's. You think United, Chelsea, the last time he was there, and Spurs now, he hasn't, he just hasn't done anything. He's got to be the Portugal manager. He's I think Inter, be. Inter Milan was the last time he turned up, turned up trees, wasn't it? Or did he go to Madrid after that? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, Matt, Matt Smith said South End will be in the Visa Home League next year. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Kevin Lindsay has come on and said, Matt Smith, Greg is looking forward to cheaper gate prices. You're having a laugh. They'll be double to try and try and get us uh, some players to get back up. Depends though, and if they start winning, but not on side. Not very often you have that comment, is it? Andy, you've got to look at um, next season. The fans will be back. They'll be desperate to get back to, to watch South End play, <coughs> no matter what league they're in. And if you start putting a run together and say you're towards the top, if you can keep some of your players. I just noticed Ricky Holmes is over there. I didn't know that. Yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah, he should come back, should come back to start... City. Yeah. But yeah, if they start Nile putting Range a run together. Niall Range will be fit again next year. Niall Range are playing the conference. Didn't he play in the Prim? Yeah, he was Newcastle. Oh, my days. He right. plays for South End. But if South End injured. get relegated, Holmes should come back to Chelmsford City and get us promoted. I don't well, think we're ever getting promoted. South end, uh, one South day. End, one day. We wouldn't have been in this situation, I don't think, if Niall Ranger had managed to keep fit. It's in one of them things league. we'll never know. Moving on. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, the, the bit that worries me is that whole bit about money in football. And I think I think if South End go non league, that could be the end of South End. <laughs> Do you really what? Do, I mean, do you really worry that that badly about it? Why would you think that? Well, because I think like we've had a winding up order every year for the last however many years. Isn't that your winding up order, Smithy? What's that? Sorry? Smithy's your winding up order. <laughs> <isn't he? laughs> yeah. He's put Greg Halford's there too. He's a Chelsea boy, isn't he? Yeah, he's not a bad player, is he? My old man used to work with his sister. Are you going full point then? Pointless comment. Yeah. Cheers. So, 
But that's enough about Southend because it's getting. I'm getting a little bit emotional about. That's yeah, a decent mate. hour, by the way. If anyone yeah, likes that. Amusement arcade in two years. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Roots all, Roots all. Well, we could. I mean, the thing is, we could just go and get a free stadium. Some clubs do that, and they, you know, like. <laughs> Has he just been pulled? He's pulled himself. Is that it? No. <laughs> we're laughing, went, right? We haven't got the agenda. Went, yeah. went, went on a rant and got pulled. Hang on. It's what got to be saying? goals next. Has anyone got any goals of the week? I think if anyone out there is, is watching us... Did you see you saw that goal I put on there? The one no, it's it's six years ago, wasn't it? Mexus. Was it was a great finish, though, wasn't um, it? I haven't You've seen any. Airborne. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Who was playing at the weekend? Newcastle, West Ham. I think they're all Newcastle, shockers, aren't they? West Ham, yeah. I didn't a see bit, them, but... big... What have we goals got? Here's goal. Goals, yeah. yeah, we've got goal, goals to chat about. How many oh, goals did you back. score on Saturday, Dan? Did you get four? Yeah, Actually, four. Always goal the... first. Sorry, I got, <laughs> I got so emotional, I got pulled off air. <laughs> goal of the week, sorry. Oh, was, it their, was, it their league, second, yeah. was it their second goal or their third goal when a geezer hit top in? The third one. It hit the post and went in, yeah. yeah. So wow. you, you didn't see their first goal. Their first goal was a good goal as well. Oh, they really? scored first. And they went <laughs> mental because it, obviously it was their first game. They rushed. And they scored. And it's like Matt Smith said earlier, it was a weird one because other than when they scored first, when they scored that third goal, I think everyone was pleased for them. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's only oh, friendly, yeah. wasn't it? It's one of them who were, they were so they were like grown men just going absolutely mental. <laughs> yeah, but listen, I don't, I don't know what journeys those men have been on, but I think no, exactly. from, from talking to the, I don't know if it's the manager or the guy who the organised on the line, it. Yeah, the the line. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he's a Northerner, a Scouser maybe, with Curly, Curly Barnett. I think he played. Oh, I know. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know he was the yeah. one who got the group together, but he was just saying they've, they've come such a long way, and I think you can see it in the team, even though they got battered, that's a step for them. They've got something think, out of their game. I went to get some of the balls that were around the back and before anyone says I did not kick them over I just went around to help out but um, everyone else had gone back to the car park and they were, they got the champagne out and were spraying each other cheering I didn't see that but, um, no, happy days yeah yeah and I was chatting to the line on the way back to the car park and uh, he was telling me about his his story and that and um, yeah he was he was buzzing for football he was like he can't Good. wait for the next game so is, it, is that the Lino sorry the Asian guy was that, was that the yeah yeah, yeah Lino did he play yeah. No, he was lying. He was, he was awful in the first ten minutes. He was giving, he was flagging for things before they'd even been kicked, <laughs> and we were, we were getting onto him a little bit. So he's um, excited. I, I think he was. Yeah, let's put it down to excitement. Yeah, he was yeah, all right. Um, though. He's a nice The guy that Pierce is talking about is Chris Shields, so um, he runs him. He's a okay. really brilliant guy. But me and Dave yeah. had a chat with him halfway through the game, and and he was just brilliant. And you know, he said. Like how it's just helped him personally, but also how it's helped these guys, and that you know that's what it's all about. And uh, he was just singing our praises even then. He was like, you know, you've given us a really good game today, and obviously beaten us by quite a big margin. But you've not been, you've just you know continued as if it was nil nil again. And same with them. And uh, so yeah, he, he's a he's a really good guy, and we'll we'll keep in contact with him. So have we got any goals? Anyone uploading any great goals from this week? Doesn't mean that much football, really. Thinking about it, I can't get to many. FA things. Cup semi-finals. I didn't watch either of them. That's um, how much stale well, football's got. I don't even watch the FA Cup anymore. Watched the first one, the Chelsea game. I can't remember. Like it was one 0 wasn't it? Zayich. Didn't they? Didn't they let fans in? Oh, Zayich. Zayich. Yeah, it wasn't. It was Lo- amazing. Local fans. Wasn't no, it? So the fan, residents the of fans, Wembley. Right. Was it? The fans I think are going so, in yeah. this week. I think they're going this week for the. No, Carabao they had four thousand in Wembley. They had four thousand. They they had local. Wembley residents partaking in the, uh, the trial. I think it was both games, possibly. Um, okay. we've, we've been asked, Cy Bailey said, what was the score, guys, on Saturday? I think it ended, was it 11-3 or 11-4? I, I've got 11-3. Well, it was, I've, I've it was 11-3, 9-3. Maybe 9, let's go 9-3. I can't see that we scored 11. I don't know. Go through them. How many do you bag? None. I've got four. How many do you get, Chris, Cy? Chris Bignall got, got two. One. So That's I got six, one. Dean, Dean got seven. No, six with Chris Bignall. So six, size so seven. Dean, eight. Ollie. Ollie did Ollie get one? Couple, didn't he? Yeah, he did that one where he hit the post and went across the back of the goal. 
Plus eight. Did Ben Farid score? Farid score? Dean. I don't think so. He played first half, didn't he? I don't know. Dean scored. Yeah, Dean. I've always said Dean. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I don't know. Did Billy scored. Joey scored, didn't he? Joey? Was, was Joey yeah. even there? Joey well, didn't Joe, play. No, sorry, Liam. Liam. Yeah, Liam oh. told me he scored. Oh, Liam, Liam he... scored. Yeah, yeah. Liam told me he scored. Matt Smith got none. He didn't, <laughs> and what, he didn't get what in, was in the Nats. He didn't get 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 in the Nats. He it's I'll irrelevant. Tell you what, it was a great goal. I'm going to put it what out there. Cy Green's goal. Lovely. He was like a slalom. He was like a slalom skier. He was slalom. He went. He went that way. He went that way. <laughs> the keeper committed, and I knew what he was going to do. Bottom <laughs> corner, just stroked it in like a little wave. Like there you go. It was almost like have your ball back. Have your ball back. <laughs> 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 Can't teach that. Dan, it's talk me through your top experience. top goal out of your four. Have you had your injection yet? They're on to the 50s now. Wow. Oh. So Who are you talking to, by the way? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. No, I haven't had mine. I'm looking at him on the screen, but I realise you're all looking at... I'm looking at the same camera. That's not really worth that. Dan, you scored four. Been, uh, what was your top top goal? Uh, Probably... They were, one was a penalty, but uh, the one where Dean Peachy crossed it and it was quite, he fizzed it quite hard across and I had to sort of pull it down and then just hit it in the bottom corner. Is that the one you should, have done, you should have done? No, it that, was, that was the one where uh, <laughs> Kieran, that's the one where Kieran pulled it back. But I've been thinking about that. If it, that was so you it, scored, but they want you to dummy it. Kieran ran to, got to the byline and went on a good run, got to the byline, I just pulled back, he pulled it back to me. I scored and then turned around and so I was going. I was calling. I was calling for you to dummy it. I didn't. I honestly didn't hear him. But I worked out if I'd have left it, you were sort of you were over on the right. So, so, so I always like, does that. So I always point. does that. You I went was on the edge of the eighteen, ready to spank it over. You might have missed. So you had another ball to get at the end of the game. He, he, he would have said that even if he was standing next to me on the sideline, Dan. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that mine weren't that, that great. I was saving saving one for um, a bigger game. And assist. You got ears, a couple of assists, didn't you, Danny? Uh, I can't remember. It's I'm not about me. I can't up. remember. I set one of their hey. goals up. Chris Dabrowski, <laughs> do you think if the football authorities implemented over five years salary caps on squads and set quotas within squads as to containing players from own, own academies, it could break the monopolies and see Leicester's success happen to a wider amount of clubs having a pop at the top, uh, um, having a pop at the top four. I totally agree. I, I think 100 percent that would work, but I can't see it happening. No, it, 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 hold on. It, 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 some, Chris has got it right. That is what we need to do. But how can you? How are you going to do a, a wage cap? Do yeah. you say to Tom Cruise, "Sorry, mate, can't give you that much of that movie." Why? Um, not Some really. Sure. Don't play football, though. One trick pony. No, but my point is, footballers are entertainers, Simon. In my yeah, opinion, yeah. they're the same as movie stars. Yeah, they give you a smile by by their art. Yeah, but how's De Bruyne on four hundred k a week or three eight five at the moment? It's a, it's well a worth joke. It. I quite like. I quite like. I quite like. Well, yeah, sorry, oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, really? sorry, sorry. Can I just? When you say it's, it's the, worth it in this, yeah, but hold on, hold on. The club would not pay him that money if they could not afford it. No, I, I agree. So Obviously why, so why should he not? That's my point. So why would he not? This is what I get about footballers' wages. It does me in, and I don't understand it. If you if you work for a bank, yeah, yeah who earns cartloads of money, like getting people into debt and taking their interest and taking their houses, it's all right. But if you're a footballer, nah, not allowed. I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming De Bruyne at all because if you if the money's there and you and you go for it and you get it, you're entitled to it. But I just think if, if I don't know fifty years ago, if you just said to someone, "There's going to be a, a footballer," he's mm. just a footballer, <laughs> and he's going to be on three hundred and eighty. He's just a normal human being that's good at football, and he's going to be on three hundred eighty-five grand a week. You'd just be like, "What? <laughs> what are you talking about?" I, to be fair, I want to. Yeah. I, I think you're out of order saying that about him, and I, I think he's a great guy, and I'd love to be his best mate. 
I think Chris, what Chris is saying has got a very good genus, and I think it is something that needs to be looked at. Yeah. I d- despise the word wage cap, <coughs> um, but at the same time, I think the academy system, and like I said, I don't know if I said it on here or somewhere else, it's the way the top clubs filter their money down the pyramid, that's the thing that needs to be looked at. I think also, I quite like the American football bit where you... The, the, the clubs at the bottom get the pick of the best players. So, the, yeah, so, but, so, so you like a draft system, but you don't like a franchise. Yeah. That's, like a school, that's like a school PE um, option. You pick first. Yeah. I'm having greenie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, yes, crazy. I'd, I'd end up at I'd end up at City. When I... <laughs> what man to? Man City, I'd end up at Man City. It'd be like, I was always at school. Oh, we'll pick the fat kid last. Oh, no, we need a goalie, second from last. You keep putting yourself down. That's true. That's that's factual, isn't it? It's not. You could have played Saturday in goal. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, moving Tank, on. Tank, Tank and James did all right. Tank did a great job, didn't he? And James, yeah. Tank... Yeah, like Tank was beating yeah. himself up on the first goal. I was like, mate, you got to oh, it. Mate. Oh, yeah, but he went for my legs. <laughs> like, you can't help that. Just get on with it. I thought he played it. He did. He played like the uh, proverbial Tank. There you go. Tank by name. He's great on field as well, though. He's played a couple of times. Yeah, that's what I mean. Field. On, on field, it was. It was bouncing. People were bouncing off him. He fully deserved about 385k for that performance. <laughs> Like piss, like I get it, and I get it, and like you know, the clubs are paying it. But But fifty years ago, fifty years ago, right? There was probably twenty, thirty thousand people in the ground. A million people might have watched it on match of the day once because you didn't get a replay. How many people are watching Mister De Bruyne? It's a different world. I get it, but I just think even with all the subscriptions that everyone's paying, just how how is your three hundred eighty-five? I think you know, what we're week? wrestling with. What we're wrestling with here is this Super League. These players, like the the football they play in the stadiums, is the same that we play in the parks. Yeah, we play it for passion. We play it for love. And like you say, there's people out there who just want to take the money out of people's pockets, and that's yeah, the issue right now. Football. You're finished, it- in fairness, they, a lot of the professionals, it, probably De Bruyne as, as well, is d- mm. they're doing it for the passion. Like De Bruyne seems like, like pretty down to Yeah, that's what I mean. It's the owners. Player, but... It's the owners and the businessmen, yeah, the, like Sky and, and all the other players. people, the agents. I mean, don't get me started on agents. I mean, the you know, amount of I money wish. that agents take out of game, like people want to have a look at that before they jump on these clubs about the uh, Super League. I wish that De Bruyne was on 300 quid Three. a week and my Sky was £10 a month. <laughs> Right. Do you know De Bruyne's wages is just under 19 million? What, annually? That's, that's annually. not me feel better. I wouldn't mind his tax. Yeah. I'll have his national you know insurance. In his defence, I'm not slagging him off at all, but he would probably, he seems like the sort of person that would probably play for 300 quid a week. Well, again, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think he would be quite charitable as well with that. He seems that sort of guy. Yeah, but and don't, don't, see, we don't know. We don't know what a lot of players do. Give a lot of weight yeah, to Charlie, no, and they don't. They don't bring it. Like <coughs> but I just think that's that's just ridiculous money. Even when I remember when Rooney got two hundred k a few years back, and I was just like, "What?" Chris Dabrowski's put breaking news: Pope and Smith to be replaced as Chelsea's son. No way! No way! Yeah, no, they're going. That's a lie, Chris. No, they're this going. is fact. This is fact. Really? Is that, Pope is this, no, Pope after and Smith. this season, Pope who? and Smith. Is who? 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 Who is the new sponsor? Who's put, so, chaps, who would make? A great sponsor that reflects football, 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 fitness, football fitness club. He's put Mrs. Cod's 